when hell freezes over? Heh, <laughs> I guess that's today. An everlasting winter has taken over the world. The last survivors from London have journeyed across the sea to the last generator known to man. They've set up their rundown tents and look for guidance to rebuild what humanity once was. Overseer, we need you to bring us back from the brink of ruin. Frostpunk is a city-building real-time strategy game that has you build structures in strategic places to defend against the cold and gather resources, all while balancing temperature, time, discontent, hope, and the laws put in place within the city. Frostpunk is an intimidating game with so much to take care of right off the bat, but don't let this get you down because while there are many things to take care of, it's all fleshed out in a balanced way. You can spend your time focusing in on one of the many directions and still come out on top. You have extreme precision on the city, controlling every single individual in an easy, shortcutted way. This allows you to react in the moment, pausing time, and take all of your workers out of a dangerously cold building while the temperature is down. This is also where the beauty of Frostpunk comes in. It's a beautiful, icy, cold aesthetic that gives you the feeling that if Steampunk ever met a bitter dead cold, this would be it. I played Frostpunk on an Xbox One with a controller, and I think I suffered for it. I didn't get a chance to try it on PC, or to see if it had keyboard controls on the Xbox One, but with how the game is set up, and like most city builders, I bet the controls with a keyboard and mouse would have made it a much better experience. The tutorial also didn't quite explain everything. I often found myself lost after a new ability was introduced, but I had no idea how to use it. An example being the heaters upgrade. You can use your workshop to make heaters in all of your factories, at the price of more coal. However, it doesn't tell you you have to manually turn the monitor off while in the factory menu. While this adds to the precision control that excels in this game, it took me 3 hours to figure it out, all while wondering why all my people kept getting sick. After I started learning some of the basics of how the game worked, I quickly realized I messed up on my city and restarted. Then I built my second city, better in every way compared to my first city, till I realized I didn't secure my coal resources and restarted again. Finally, my third city got me through, and while to some it may seem frustrating that your first city is absolutely doomed to fail, others may enjoy the challenge of trying to get it just right. For those looking for a challenge in building cities, nothing is more challenging than bringing back humanity from the brink of a frozen apocalyptic ice age. Times are extreme. Dread it. Run from it. The cold arrives all the same. And when faced with having to amputate a leg, the hardest choices require the strongest wills. But maybe you will make it through, and finally rest, watching the sun rise on a grateful city. I'm giving Frostpunk an 8 out of 10. Frostpunk was developed by 11-Bit Studios. It is available on Xbox One, PS4, and Windows. Frostpunk was played on Xbox One, and a review code was provided for this report. Until next time, play like a rogue!